All right, Weasel. Let's check on your foot, okay? Oh, wait, what are you doing? Why are you, why are you touching my feet? Check on your foot, okay? Uh, it's okay. Everyone wants to see. Let's hold them straight. Okay, let's see. Oh, it looks better today, but it's a little bit swollen. Oh, dear. It does look better, though. It's not the first time you've had something like that happen. What did you do? What did you do? You got a little carried away wrestling your brother, didn't you? Hello, Dr. Vina here. Do you like my wiener? He's a good wiener. Every now and then he gives me a little bit of attention, so I have to soak it all in, because it probably won't happen for about another three weeks. <laughs> all right, are you done? Are you done? You ready to go? Was that all I get? I'm not holding you back now. You can go if you want to. It's okay, they won't think less of you. Oh. Hi, Wiener. Hey, Chef. Chef. You gonna kiss them too? What about them? Hi. They want kisses too. Hey, give them kisses. No? Kiss them. Kiss them. Kiss them. No kisses? No, no kisses for them. You never refuse kisses. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Just cleaning up here after my live stream. Uh, I don't want to leave all my equipment out and everything because then everything looks very cluttered. I already had to print off some stuff today uh, for Brit. So I already have this printer here which clutters everything up. I gotta carry that out of here later. Uh, we just ended the live stream and I have got to head out of the house yet. Uh, we haven't filmed much today and if we don't start filming now, we're not gonna get any vlog done. That's unacceptable. It's like I said in the live stream, if I don't release a vlog, the world ends. So a lot is riding on my shoulders. I gotta get this vlog out to you. Diesel and I are on a mission. We're on a mission, aren't we? I took Chevy with me yesterday, so today Diesel gets to come with me. We're not going to our spot, but we're gonna go look at some nice trucks that I've seen for sale. And I wanna go get a little bit of a closer look. All right, I can't help myself. I can't help myself. I've gotta go look. The time is now five minutes to five. Five to five. I know, it sort of looks like it's, where are you turning? Where? Why are you turning right from this lane? Okay, okay, Steinbeck. Steinbeck drivers, it's okay. See, you, you turn into this lane to make a right turn, but okay. All right, it's all good, it's all good. We don't get irritated easily. No, not me. Yeah, five to five. It seems like it's a lot later. That's why there's a lot of depression around in wintertime because there's not a lot of sunlight, not a lot of vitamin D. You gotta make sure you keep up with your vitamins. I don't do a very good job at that. But the sunlight is kind of absent. <laughs> That's okay, we talk about it every day. Nothing we can do about it. But the one thing we can do something about, we can go look at trucks that are for sale. recognize this place <laughs> I spent a lot of time here when I had the Volvo 
This is Trucks Unlimited and Stein back here. They're closed now. It's Sunday. Obviously, they're closed. I want to see what kind of trucks they had for sale here. I can't help myself. I have a problem. And they got a lot of day cabs over here for sale. They look like they're probably returned from leases or maybe they're brand new. I wonder where they came from. Got this international here. I'm looking for a W9. A lot of box trucks. A lot of box trucks. Interesting, eh? Look at this fancy Volvo here. No way, I think I know whose truck that is. I think I know whose truck this was anyway. I need to put on my hat for this one. It's getting a little dark already, but I think you guys can still see what we're doing over here. I think it's JP's truck. I am pretty sure, but all the logos are taken off. Did he sell his truck? Yeah, this was his, wasn't it? My old roommate, uh, John. I believe this was his truck. I remember that huge case in the back there. Double stacks, these fenders. It's got the, the moose bumper on the front, right? Yeah. It was a Penner truck, but now all the decals are taken off. It's still got plates on it, though. I wonder. It is a nice looking truck though, eh? These 780s are just huge, ginormous inside. Maybe it's for sale. Maybe it's for sale. What do, what do you think? Should I buy it? Get back into owner operator? <laughs> No, probably not. No, no, I'm not ready for that right now. But uh, this is a nice truck. Man, I'm gonna have to get a hold of him. Huh, wonder what the miles are on that thing right now. I don't know, maybe it's like a truck that's identical to his, but. <clears throat> Looks like, it's, I mean, it's still got plates on it though. So like I said, I'm not too sure if he's selling it or not. Uh, I don't know if you guys have been watching my vlogs long enough. Uh, John, my old roommate, when I, before I met Britt, he was a trucker as well. And I'm pretty sure that was what he drove. Huh, interesting. That's what I mean, being on the road so much. It's exactly what I was talking about yesterday. Being on the road so much, I have a lot of friends. I do. But it's so hard to keep in contact with everybody because when I come home, I'm usually home for what? two to four, maybe five days, two to four days usually. And those days I want to spend with my wife and I want to go see my mom and dad. I want to see my sisters if I can, my immediate family. Maybe I'll have time for a, a friend here and there just a little bit. But for the most part, it's so hard to maintain friendships. And you know, some people are totally cool with that. And to be honest, I was too. For the longest time, it's been nine years. And the thing is, if you love the road, you love the road. And I love the road, but it does come with sacrifices and consequences. And and we should talk about this more often as drivers, like because we talk about how awesome the job is when you love it, but there are there are things you have to sacrifice to have that. And maybe, you know, I'm at the point where I'm done sacrificing all of these memories that I'm missing at home. Maybe I wanna like, uh, I don't know, be in proper communication with my friends and then I would know that he was selling his truck. I had no idea he was even selling his truck. And here it is. Maybe he's got a new truck, I don't know. But that's one of the reasons I wanna be home more is so that I can actually stay in touch with people. But I also love the road. Should I buy it? It would be kinda of cool to buy his old truck, right? You know it's been well taken care of. I don't know 100% for sure that that's his though. We'll see. There's one more truck I wanna go and take a look at. I'm wondering if GoPro has released their their next camera. I think they have, right? This camera I'm using now is a GoPro Hero 7 Black Edition. It's awesome. It's got great smooth stabilization, super smooth image, 
but at night that super stabilization sort of disappears I, I noticed that mostly when I filmed that vlog about the protests and fires a few days ago last week when I was filming that fire there and at night I was assuming my camera was using proper stabilization and you guys saw it right like it was super shaky the, the, the image was bad quality I was kind of yeah I didn't want to include it but I, I had to include that footage that was a big part of my day a massive fire in town right but you know one's got to wonder what more can they improve they make these cameras so amazing already what more can they improve here's your answer they can improve nighttime image stabilization get that hyper smooth image into low light as well and i'm not a tech guy so i don't know it's probably pretty hard to do but uh that is one thing so maybe the gopro hero 8 or 9 or 10 or 12 or 20 whatever they have out by now maybe they've addressed that I'll have to check it out. I'm not ready to buy any new cameras anytime soon. I have two of these GoPro Hero 7 Black Editions. This is the one that I use regularly. It's kind of beat up a little bit. And one that I have at home that was originally bought for Brit when she was making videos. But uh, since she's not doing that anymore, it's just sitting there and it's our backup camera. Making videos isn't for everyone. She, it wasn't really her passion. It was my passion. So she does have her own channel, Brit's Beat. But she doesn't really post much to it. It's uh, like I said, you gotta, you can only make these videos if you're passionate about it. It's gotta be your thing. It's just the way it goes. Bloomin' snort. Bloominort, Manitoba. I spent a lot of my childhood uh, going to school in this town, actually. Oh, they got a new sign. Can't really see it because it's dark now, of course. They got, what was wrong with the old sign? Bloominort. Why would they do the old sign was way better? Not that big ugly green blooming orange. Why would they do that? That's worse. Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see the big sign? How do I get in here? No, it's not this entrance. It's not this entrance. It's this entrance. Nope, there it was. No, no, that's not the one either. This one. Here we go. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Remember a while back. I stopped here by this truck, it's still here. Or is this a different one? That is a beautiful truck. Isn't it? We're in Blumenor here, look at the size of those stacks up there. Ooh, it's pretty used though. Uh, this is probably an older truck. Probably a bit of an older truck. No clue what year it is right now. It's got plates on it too, so maybe it's not for sale. Huh. Well, maybe it's not for sale. I like it when they put a window on the back of the sleeper like that. I really do like that. I always wanted a truck like that. Not so that you can use it to back up, but just it lets extra light into the sleeper. When I'm, when I was, uh, or when I spend time in the sleeper, whether it be on a reset or just every evening waiting for a load, I always like as much natural light in the sleeper as possible. That's one of the reasons I really liked the uh, uh, the W900s or Kenworth in general because they got those two big sunroofs on top of the sleeper, the windows on the sides of the bunk. You go in the back and it feels really open with all that natural light coming in, right? This is usually where they park all the trucks that are for sale. These all got plates on it. Oh, no, these don't have plates. This one here doesn't have a plate. See, this guy's got a big window in the back too. Can you see it? The sun is going down so fast. Oh, I probably can't see it. It's got a big window on the back there. This is the same sleeper as mine. So you know it's nice in there, nice and deep. That is a nice truck. I don't know what they're asking for. I like it that the stacks are in the front of the sleeper. That's nice. Miner, mine's actually goes uh, ant eater exhaust, they call it, right? Or weed eater, comes out the bottom. Take one last look. Uh-huh, yeah, I don't like the color really. I'm not a big fan of the purple. Nah, I'm more of a, I like to keep it, play it safe, you know, and uh, kind of whites, blacks, maybe a dark navy, blue or a maroon color, a navy blue or maroon, those are nice. Those are nice. But unfortunately, we're just dreaming, my friends. We're just dreaming. Should I buy it? 
The answer is probably no. I like, like I said, once that diesel gets into your blood, into your blood veins, man. Once a trucker, always a trucker. I may not be gone. I may be home every night, but you can't take the trucker. You can't take the trucking out of the trucker. You can't take the diesel out of the truck. I don't know. Timmy's. Timmy's. Oh, that's a big bump. Oh, wow. The drive through line is all the way out to here. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Let's get in line. Let's get comfy. They just remodeled this Timmy's not too long ago. Looks nice. Simple, but nice, you know? Sometimes less is more. Why is this lineup not moving? Like it goes all the way down here, it goes all the way around, way out there. See, all you gotta do is complain about it and then it moves. That's why I complain all the time. It helps, it gets things done, you know? It gets people to move. <laughs> Seriously, there's one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. About, about fifteen to twenty cars here. And now there's someone behind me as well. Come on, Tim's, pick it up, man. I hope the people behind me gave up. They said, "Forget this." <laughs> they're good. they're out of here. They're probably gonna go to the other Tim's. But from what I heard, the other Tim's is closed again today for some reason. That's a rumor. I don't know if it's true or not. We're gonna have to go and find out. But uh, instead of going past this Tim's to the next one and then having to come back here, I just figured I'd just go in here. And judging how slow this lineup is moving and how long it is, the other one's probably closed. I could go through the Tim's by Esso. I bet you that would be a shorter, I bet you that would be a shorter lineup. You know what? You know what? Oh, there's somebody right behind me now. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go check out the other Tim's. I'm out of here. Lineup is out onto the street here as well. I just gotta wait here until the lineup moves, I guess. Bet you he's going in for Tim. No, you can only go through drive through, you can't go in anymore. There we go. There's only what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people in front of me here instead of 15 to 20. So I think we made the right decision. This was a good life choice. So many people forget that this Tim's is here. I always forget that it's here because there's two actual stores like sit in Tim's stores and then there's the one in Walmart. But the one in Walmart has been closed since this whole virus thing popped into the world. Uh, but so we have our two ones where we have like sit in but they're just drive-through only right now. And this one is practically just drive-through only. They do have a few, uh, like you can go inside on a normal day and uh, order inside there as well. But it's not like a, a whole full-fledged Tim Hortons, right? You see the little Tim Hortons sign like way over there. It's a tiny little itty bitty sign. That's why no one even knows it's here. It's like a little hidden gem that only a couple of people like these fine people realize. It's actually an Esso gas station with just a uh, well, Timmy's a little tucked away in there. That's probably where they make most of their money at the Tim Hortons. <laughs> People that I've heard of who uh, own a Tim Hortons store, they always refer to the store as the bank because uh, you just make so much money. Every time you go to work, it's like going to the bank. It makes sense, yeah, but it's very expensive to get into. If you want to get into uh, owning a franchise store, I think it's like, starting price is a million dollars just to get in but what do i know 
But what do I know, right? I don't know. I know it's pretty difficult to get into it, but it's worth it. Steinbeck could use another Timmy's. We need we need another Timmy's out by uh, uh, by the France Inn and the what is that? The east side of town. There's no Timmy's out there yet. We got one here on the west side. We got one on the south side. We got one on the north side. Somebody needs to, you know, somebody needs to pick that up and run with it. Just saying, just throwing a, it's just spitballing, throwing ideas out there. Hi there, what can I get for you? Hi, could I get two medium candy cane white hot chocolates, half dark roast? Two medium white candy cane hot chocolates, and those were both half dark roast. Anything else? That's it. Okay, that'll be 580 at the window. Super duper. One of these days, Diesel. One of these days. Thank you very much. You too. I forgot to say later, Gator. Shoot. Next time. All right, Diesel, let's head home. Gotta go hang up some more Christmas lights. <laughs> going with the Christmas lights. I guess we're gonna have to maybe put another uh, finishing nail at the top there to hold it in the middle as well. Yeah. I gotta take all of these little clips off of this one. These ones are gonna be going around our windows on the outside. I kind of thought that we're gonna turn our house into like a little bit of a candy cane gingerbread house in the future for Christmas. Need a hand? I need a hammer and a nail. Need a hammer and a nail. Those two go together like, oh, you need me again. She's talking to me. She's hinting, she's hinting. One second, I need to be able to see what I'm doing. Hammer and a nail. You go to the kitchen for these things. Hammer. Nail in that little plant pot. In the what? Where we put them when we moved in. Where did we put, in here? There they are. Our secret stash just for Christmas. Okay. Hammer and nail. Mm -hmm. What a woman. Oh yeah, she's gonna hammer that right in there. So we have to take off all of these clamps or clips. And a single one. We don't need them this year. Not on these ones anyways. These are going around the windows in the front. We have so many more lights left over yet, we don't know what to do with them all. So we're improvising, doing things we don't usually do. <laughs> Every night, just adding a little bit more. And it's never going to be enough. No. Eventually, we're going to use all of them, and then we're going to need more. We're going to need some colorful ones eventually, I think. Just a few for like trees or something. Yeah, like red and green? And I really want to do what Troy and Angie on Beyond 1031 are doing right now. Making some wooden cutouts, kind of retro, right? Because that's how they used to do it. Let's so make those wooden cutouts and then you can always put like spotlights on them, like solar spotlights. And I really want to do candy canes next year. And uh, I think gingerbread men and women, I'm not too sure. Not Everyone's sure. gonna know us in town. Absolutely. Whenever we introduce ourselves, hi, I'm Josh, this is my wife, Britt. We're the people with the gingerbread candy cane house. <laughs> well, that's you with all the lights. I mean, our house is small enough to be an actual gingerbread house. Yeah, <laughs> we're the ones you can see from space. That's the, us. The tiny little bright light. Yeah, the tiny little one. Britt is over there looking good. Just reviewing some of the vlogs from yesterday. Making sure I didn't mess up. That's right. <laughs> Got Wife approved. Wife approved? Wife approved. Yes! There was just one sound bite that cut out too early, but it oh, happens. But still got the approval? Still got the approval. Super duper! You got a 98. Neato! Diesel. Chillaxin. Just wanted to film a little end clip for you here to say thanks for watching. I hope you guys subscribe. Tune in for more tomorrow. I think tomorrow we're gonna go and take a journey in the pickup with the dogs to the very center of Canada. 
We actually don't live too far away from it, so we, we might go check it out tomorrow. You want to tune in for that. I'll see you guys then. Take care, everybody.